Oh, wow. Where'd you get it? Uh, I found it at Air and Space Museum. Really? That's interesting. So we decided not to test what Sammy the snake needs to live. Instead, we're testing what do plants need to live. And today is very exciting because we get to see what might be growing and what might not. Find your plants, find your data sheets, and bring both of them to your table. Make sure you find all the data sheets for this experiment. You might have more than one, and make sure they're completely filled out at the top. And make sure you have the right data sheet for the pot you're observing. After you find your data sheet, Go get the pot for the plant that you were experimenting with. Observe the inside of your pot to see if anything has grown. If anything has grown, use a ruler to measure how tall it is. You will measure in centimeters. Make sure you're using centimeters. When you do your measurement, notice two things. One, you are only measuring the height of the tallest plant. Two, when you do the measurement, have the ruler touching the dirt, but not under the dirt. Doing the no-soil plant, try to put the ruler at the very bottom of the plant, but don't dig way under the paper towels. If you have the no-oxygen plant, just place the ruler on the table and estimate how high from the top of the table are any plants that are growing. When counting the leaves, count the number of leaves on the tallest plant. Is the soil or paper towel wet, damp, or dry? If it's wet, you'll see water or mud on your finger if you stick it in. If it's dry, it will feel dry with no moisture at all. And if it's damp, it means you feel some moisture, but there's no mud or water on your finger. After you've done your measuring, record the other information about your plant. Read the data sheet, fill in each column, ask for help if you need some help. After you finish recording your data, show your data sheets to your teacher. Remember that each of your pots has a separate sheet. Fix anything that your teacher asked you to fix, fill in anything that you forgot, and then you're ready to put your materials away. Put your data sheets in your folder, put your folder in your bin, and put your pots back in the container or place where you found them. 